The three mill tax increase BIP commissioners approved last week has lots of folks talking and has some neighbors taking shots. An advertisement in the latest edition of the weekly Monroe County Reporter sponsored by the paper itself. Uh, the ad says, thank you, Mayor Robert Rickard. Keep up the good work, claiming the higher taxes in Bibb County are driving more people to Monroe County. Abby Casares joins us live at the Monroe Bibb County border to verify. Frank and Lori, that ad claims you could be paying thousands of dollars more if you live on the Bibb County side than if you're a resident in Monroe County. So we wanted to verify if that was true. Our sources, the tax commissioners for each county, Wade McCord for Bibb County and Lori Andrews for Monroe County. This advertisement claims that higher taxes could push more people from Bibb County to Monroe. They're claiming that the tax bill for a $200,000 home in Bibb County would cost more than $1,000 more than in Monroe County. Because you'd be paying a lot less in property taxes just over the county line. I, I would be hard pressed to tell you where else I would rather live. Louis Bickett lives in Monroe County, his home worth around $170,000. He's lived there for over 30 years and doesn't want to leave. A lot of people say, well, you know, you need to move to Florida. Well, you know, they got too many alligators in Florida, so <laughs> I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. I, I want to sell this property just as quick as I can, get out of Bibb County because they raised taxes the way they did. On the other hand, Russell Shepard lives in an almost $200,000 home in Bibb County. He wants to move, but what is the difference between Bickett and Shepard's taxes? Well, if you own a $200,000 home in Bibb County and have homestead exemption, your tax bill would be just over $2,900. If you own the same home in the city of Forsyth, your real estate tax bill would be a little over $2,200, a difference of about $700. In the rest of the county, you'd pay $1,976. That's about $940 less than Bibb. I don't, I don't have any issues with the county. I really don't. Uh, and. Uh... To me, it's not worth it. So we verified that in Bibb County, homeowners would pay several hundred dollars more than in Monroe County. But in most of the county, the difference is just short of $1,000. But is that enough to move people out of Bibb and to Monroe? That's just a guess by the reporter's publisher, Will Davis. And Shepard says that he'd be interested in moving to Crawford or Peach County. Now, that was the guy who you saw who lives in Bibb County, but it's bittersweet for him because he's lived in Macon all of his life. In the Monroe County and Bibb County line, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Abby. Those numbers we used include taxation for the Board of Education in each district as well. If you're over the age of 65, you may be able to claim a $4,000 exemption, according to the Georgia Department of Revenue. And if you have anything you would like us to verify, send an email to news at 13wmaz.com or post your question to our Facebook page.